Now in this video we're going to have a look at type and uh, in the second video we're going to have a look at paragraphs and what we can do. Now you'll see a fair bit has changed since the last video on the panel. Uh, I'll run you through what has actually um, been added and done and you'll realize it isn't that scary and, and uh, by now you already have all these skills. Um, so all I've done for this black background here is what I did in the fills and swatches tutorial. I just drew a path around the space I wanted to make black and I put it on a layer called black ground because it's black and it's ground. Get it? Okay. If I zoom in on this, uh, these graphics here, all they are are a bunch of um, uh, lines. They've actually been exploded since, but they were simple, very simple geometries drawn, traced over the original um, drawings and attributed a stroke to make it look like it's uh, a stroke appearance, which if you remember is up here to make it look a bit more interesting. The um, other ones exactly the same. The squares are just a um, plain uh, thick line stroke and we have the circulation simulated with this uh, brush appearance which has been added and a few lines with uh, arrows on the end. So really easy stuff. That was traced over an isometric uh, drawing done off um, a uh, which was exported from Revit and you'll see it's pretty easy to get something which is quite stylistic and uh, this drawing is the same as well these contours were taken off city plan um, but just given a different stroke appearance and these are traced off a uh, original map done in 1872 I believe um, but it's just uh, um, a few, there were there were a few diagrams and it just shows the power of Illustrator to do some pretty stylistic diagrams and extremely fast as you'll know by now So you'll see we're well on our way to uh, creating our panel, which is the goal of this uh, course. So what we're going to do today is add some text uh, to this black um, background and uh, a few titles for each of these diagrams, a larger title, and in the second video we're going to add a paragraph of text down the bottom. So to start off with, I'm going to select my text tool, which you've probably seen by now, a uh, type tool. You can get it with the shortcut T, and there's a few different ways you can use it. But to start off with, we're just going to make sure we have all the right settings. Once I've selected it, uh, the tool in the control bar, you can see we've got all our, all our different um, properties. So we'll just drop that down and give it a basic stroke. I don't know if that's actually going to make a difference. But in any case, I want the color of the text to be white. So I'm selecting the fill. I'm, you'll see the color pops up on the right hand side. And I'm just going to select the white part of this color scale you'll see the text color becomes white down there and I'll just click off and we'll start typing and see what happens oh, you'll see it's changed again uh, it'll do that sometimes I'm not sure why but in any case we'll just go back and select white sometimes uh, depending on which options you have selected it'll uh, make the background white it'll make the border of the text box white but what we want is white text so there you go. So we have white text. And you'll see it's uh, justified towards the right hand side and it's uh, that's not what we're after so I want it to be writing um, from the left hand side so I'm just going to go up to my paragraph settings in the control bar and click the align left option. Okay. So the title of this um, of these ideas is going to be of the uh, of these diagrams is going to be I Dear progression. Okay. Now I'm just going to select off that by clicking my selection tool, and you'll see the text has been selected. We still have, although we don't have the text tool selected, because the text itself is selected, in the control bar we can still edit all its properties. I want it uh, to I want the text to be a size 26 point. So not millimeters, 26 points. There you go, idea progression. And I don't want it to be Myriad Pro, so I'm going to drop down the font bar and go to Calibri, which is a favorite of mine. Okay. Now, just like any uh, geometry, we can move it around and get smart geometries, uh, smart guides uh, picking up 
other geometries for us to align to and you'll see with the selection tool selected we can do things like rotate the text there you go and I want to rotate it if I hold down shift 90 degrees and then I'm going to drag it over to the left hand side okay so I'm going to show you a few quick things of how um, type is quite like ge um, just other geometries. I'm going to select it using the selection tool. Now this is just the way I like to work with Illustrator but it makes things extremely easy. I'm going to hold down the Alt key on Windows, click and drag and then you'll see it isn't moving directly across. I'll get the smart guide or I'll just hold shift and it'll land right next to the artwork. Okay then I'm going to go up and select 14. Now that has lost the uh, justification with the end of idea progression which I didn't want and that's because it wasn't justified towards the right hand side so I'm going to justify that towards the right so that when I copy this one I'll move that up to the top I want to align it perfectly with the idea progression text so I'm going to drag a guide off the ruler Oop, guides aren't visible go to view guides, show guides and then I will just zoom in so we can see how close it is. Now here's a quick hint if you have the selection tool activated any geometry you want selected if you tap the left, right, down and up arrow keys it will nudge the geometry by um, an increment on the grid I believe. So let's zoom out hold down shift, sorry hold down alt to copy another one shift across now obviously they're not all going to be titled idea progression but I just want to orient the uh, text to start off with so V for the selection tool alt drag and shift alt drag and shift to get them perfectly across and then I'm just going to quickly edit the text. Now just because it's on an angle doesn't mean we can't edit it. We can either double click and type early concept sketch and see how even though it's longer it's coming straight off that guide because of the right justification up in the paragraph settings in the control bar. Okay so I'll just click off that or if I have the text the type tool selected and then I go and I can click and start selecting text immediately. So that'll be circulation strategy. Found space. And finally original contours. Okay, you'll see all the properties are inherited from the copied um, object.